What's going on? It is Frag King, episode of My Two Quarters, covering the probably the biggest gaming news we've had in a long time that's actually on a positive note. The reveal of Fallout 4, after all the speculation and hoaxing and just straight dick teasing done by everybody and their fucking mothers. With me, I got my heterosexual life mate, Silvix. <laughs> classic it's always a classic yes yes of course what's going on people uh if you call it the last show we did we uh we touched base on this because bethesda put out a countdown last night and said please stand by it started at 24 hours and worked all the way all the way down and then uh which which i gotta add about that real quick uh for those of you who actually watched it till the got watched the end of the countdown and you actually got to see something after it. Fuck you, because I'm one of those people who did. <laughs> a lot of lot of people, as soon as it hit that, it just did stop doing stuff. So we actually had to go over to YouTube and, you know, watch the fucking trailer. Hell yeah. D dick move, Bethesda. Dick move. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> so today, uh, they released a trailer and uh. I suppose we're going to talk all about that and our uh, speculations and Analysis. as well as facts. Of course, there will be facts. We're we're, we're pretty much analyzing it, Hell and it's yeah. going to be a blast. Yeah, and so. I'm going I'm going to vape and I'm going to eat Tostitos and drink Sunny D the whole time. I have coffee. It's delicious. And just so you know, we're recording at like almost ten o'clock at night. So why he's drinking coffee? I don't know. Because he's he's Cause fucking it, weird. Because I like coffee. What's wrong with coffee? It's like a morning beverage. Eh, I'm in an AC, so. <laughs> it works for me. All right. A any anyway, so, yeah, that we, everyone got to see the big reveal trailer for Fallout 4, and. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, it's just, to, it, yeah, we'll, we'll just get our general opinions out of the way. I found it. Marvelous! I I was it was if I felt like a weight was lifted off my chest. We know it's happening. Like there was something yeah, in front of us. Exactly. Finally, some like, solid proof. Like like literally like I could have. I was telling the choir of angels to shut the fuck up. I'm listening to the trailer. <laughs> that trailer and, is amazing though. It looks very good. I mean, first I mean a lot of people have been saying like they that the graphics were subpar, which. Honestly, you know, I, for a reveal trailer, I'm I would rather have them be honest with their graphics because some some people are saying that there was a little bit like it was in engine, like this is how mm -hmm. the game's going to look. Which, if that's the case, I'm perfectly fine with that. That game, in my opinion, looked really good. It's still it's it, like an update of the usual Fallout. Yeah, it still has that design. Fallout. It definitely still has that Fallout vibe to it. Even though and, it's, yeah, just, it's, it's just like a teaser trailer, more or less. Yeah, I mean, I felt like I was still in that world, exactly. which is really, really, really good. But I'm, I'm also glad they didn't pull like a Ubisoft and show us these trailers with these amazing, awesome graphics that you know the game that changed when the game came out, and they were just they were very lacking. Like it took modders to uh, make you able to have those same graphics, and that's fucked up. That that is to me poor advertising because you're just you're, you're for the most part lying about the finished product. At least we know that the only I mean, this is the first trailer, mind you. So think that down the road, who knows? The graphics could look even better. Maybe that was on like lower settings. Who knows? But if it's not, oh, and that's the, the big one's coming out in E3. As soon as that hits, that's their big game. Oh, <laughs> They've yeah, already definitely. announced that that's their main game. That's why they put it out now. Well, I'm either way. Like, I think it's a smart move. Not, not, no one's announcing anything right now, so why don't they just drop a nice big bomb in this quiet little time we had? I, mean, I thought it was. I think it's a great idea. It's and everyone's excited, so I like it. Yeah, I, I, I think this is this is good on Bethesda. It's a good timing. I, I, I think it's some good timing. Uh, a few things like me, me and Silvix, and like pretty much analyzed the uh this trailer to the best of our ability and actually have quite a lot of like information 
Some some of some has been confirmed. Others is just our speculation, you right. know. Because right now, I mean, so little is known that it, it's pretty much mostly everything speculation un, up until at least maybe we'll get a little more information at E3. I'd hope so. I mean, a little something. Oh, you'll get I a mean, lot of information. I'm telling you, this is going to be their big game. Well, I, I don't. I think it's still a little too early for them to give a there, lot of there's information. There's also but another we game. Should... I did look. Uh, Doom. They're doing something with Doom. Yeah. They put yeah. like a really weak fucking teaser trailer. It's like a, what, a ten second video or some shit. It was terrible. I, I, mean, I watched it well, earlier today because I, I was looking under YouTube because the uh, when I watched the trailer on there, I was like, oh, I wonder what else they got. So I looked, and Doom's going to be a big reveal for them too, apparently. Oh yeah, I'm actually excited about that because I love Doom. I, I hated wonder the what they've done to it. I didn't the, even know they the, had like I didn't even know they were working on Doom. Oh, uh, uh, don't don't get me wrong. The movie was shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. The, I mean, I still like the games. Like I still, I mean, I've played the uh, original one within the last five years. Okay, so. Oh yeah. I mean that that that's the shit. You, you know, in recent years, I have not met a Bethesda game I have not liked. Yeah, I could say that too. I agree with you there. And they've I, all been I've, pretty solid. And I've played pretty much every recent Bethesda game, you know? And I thought all of them were really good. Like, Dishonored, I loved. Wolfenstein, The New Order was fucking great. I'm sure The Old Blood is going to be good, too. I haven't I haven't played that yet, but I'm sure that's one's fucking amazing. And I've loved every Elder Scroll game I played, and I've really Fallout 3 fucking loved. I mean... Oh, yeah, absolutely. The, Fallout 3 the, the, is the best so far that I've played. Uh, out of any Bethesda game, I'm probably gonna have to go with uh probably Oblivion. To be honest, I I think the vanilla Oblivion was the most expansive game Bethesda ever made. Like, don't get me wrong, that Skyrim one was massive. Yeah, Skyrim was pretty big, but I agree with you. Oblivion was pretty fucking big. <laughs> I mean, just just the Shivering Isles alone gave you this massive, massive world, and I still think there's more content in uh Shivering Isles. Than uh, Dragonborn, adding uh, Solstein. Right. I mean, <clears throat> I, I I spent a lot more time doing the Shivering Isles st- with straight gameplay, like getting shit done, compared to uh, how long it took me to do the same thing with Dragonborn. I, like, I was actually pretty quick getting through it my first time. But, I mean, that's... All that's doing is just... Basically saying we have that much faith in Bethesda that this game is going to be the absolute shit. And uh, basically, from our, I we I went way off way off topic there. A little bit. You should, you should, Silvis, you should have stopped me. I forgot to hook up the uh, the electricity wires to you to your chair. I had that all rigged up, and I never. I'm sorry. It's okay. If you look to your left, down at your feet, there is a switch. If you could just flip it to where it says on, it would really help us out. Moving along to the uh, our analysis, uh, base of one of the most well. Why don't obvious... we give them? Uh, why don't we give them a couple facts that we do know right off the bat? Oh yeah, that's nothing about that's you know what... so much the breakdown of the trailer. But for one, you can also they released a trailer day, but you can also pre-order it now, even though that's there is true. no confirmed release date. Which I'm I'm assuming that they're going to reveal at E3, obviously. I think so. I wonder if it's going to be this year. What do you you think it'll be this year? I hope so. Either this year or uh, maybe early 2016. Yeah, I'd expect it to be next year, but I I hope it's this year. I don't know. It depends on how much they've done. You know, they haven't really talked about it since you know all the from the quality of the of the trailer. From the quality of the trailer, I I have to think that they at least have it in a playable state. Right. I mean. I I I would not doubt that they spent all this time since New Vegas just not working on this. Well, they've had ESO and all that. Even though there are different teams, that's still the company as a whole well, is taking care well, of. Still, it. Well, still, well, still, ESO was made by Zenimax too. So mm-hmm. Bethesda's, I'm pretty the, their development team was doing other things while ESO was being made. Well, hopefully, it'll so. be on Fallout. I mean, obviously, yeah, right. they've been working on Doom too. Like I said earlier, that I that I realized today. And Wolfenstein. The other thing about uh, the pre-order, you can pre-order. It's uh, sixty bucks. I was checking it out, and uh, pr- it's only coming out right now for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It's not coming out for uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 yet. 
and it may not be out at all. Who knows? Depends on I, I don't. Do I honestly don't think it's going to, which I'm okay with, because I because one I got a PC, and two, it is that we are in the next generation. We really got to start focusing on our current consoles because. As a lot of people think our current consoles, you know, aren't that good, you know, if we just kind of ignore them, we don't give them the opportunity to get better. So, I mean, I am, if I, if I was still a console person, I would completely understand mm -hmm. if I have, didn't get, you know, my Xbox One yet, but this game was coming out. You know, I wouldn't be pissed about it. I would understand why they wouldn't do it. And I'm not saying that just because I'm a PC player. I'm just saying I would expect it to be on, well, obviously PC. But obviously it would be on the next gen systems because they can run it better, right? So, and they don't have to downscale it so hard. Oh, they, they. I don't think there should be any downscaling on any platform for this oh, game. Oh, I agree. Yeah, totally agree. Just some I systems, mean, it's just it's just not going to work. Like some right. systems are slowly getting faded out anyway. You know how it goes. Well, I I know that at least the way the trailer looked. It should have no problems running on the PS4 or the uh, Xbox One. No, and, it seems fine. PS4 is uh, real nice. And, I haven't messed and, with the One, but PS4 has got some decent, decent I mean, hardware. If you're, if you're a PC guy, I mean, don't worry. I mean, there's obviously going to be texture mods coming out that will make it look ten times better. So, oh yeah, just as soon as the creation kit comes out for it, boom, you know, Break all yourselves, our... the mods are coming. Oh yes, and that that is a oh that's one of the biggest things I'm excited about is modding this game because there's going to be so many fucking mods. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah I'd like, I'm like frothing at the mouth in anticipation. Like, I'm going to just, just joygasm all over the place. <laughs> I, I don't know how that's represented, but it will be everywhere and it will be a bitch to clean up. Right on. So let's, uh, let's talk more about this trailer itself. So, uh, I guess they're confirmed on the location, correct? Right. The the it is definitely going to take place in Boston, or at least that was going to be the main area for the game. Like right. we never know. We ne we never know. We because I mean in Fallout Three we went up to Pittsburgh for uh the pit. So I mean who knows? We can go to surrounding places from around there. I'm sure there's no reason why we couldn't. But at least we know for now that at least the main story should be, take place. Now, did in Bethesda Boston. actually confirm that it's in Boston, or is this just what because of the landmarks that are obviously within it? Uh, there. I mean, there's no way to not confirm it because I mean, right. you see, you had Paul Revere statue, Scully Square, the uh, Massachusetts State House, and Fen Fenway Park, like all landmarks. Oh man, I hope you can go inside there. That'd be cool. That'd be pimp. I mean. And so, I mean, there's no way for this is not to be Boston, so. Right. I'm sold I on mean, the idea. I think it's Boston. I think and, there's plenty and, of evidence and, to confirm. And, and also, the uh, it's also in, in the game lore, like that area is known as the Commonwealth, because Massachusetts is Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the Commonwealth, which is, I'm assuming this, this location is close to Boston, it, you would have the Institute, which has been mentioned a few times in Fallout 3 and in fallout new vegas but it seems like it would be an important enough place to maybe be a focus in the story it's like i mean that's this is just pure speculation but that's what i think at least mm -hmm. that that it will, will involve the the uh institute in some way i agree with you on that i think that would be fucking sweet especially because i'd be right i mean it's a huge place anyway so it would have to be some sort of significance in the game Right, can't just ignore a, a huge structure like that. Oh, it's it's not really the structure; it's the just what what's in it because it's the right. all the uh it's all the uh these big science scientists with like this super high tech equipment, you know, doing. I mean, they they made the uh, synths, like the synthetic humans, or at least the one that we see see in uh, Fallout Three. Right. So I mean, they 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 have a. a Decent place in the lore, and like it's they're that mysterious enough that you could that that would be a great element. And honestly, it, I mean, we've saw in the trailer that we saw people in power suits. I couldn't confirm if they were Brotherhood of Steel or not, but you could. I'm pretty sure that the Brotherhood of Steel would love to get their hands on whatever they got 
I, in the I definitely think it's Brotherhood of Steel related. I think there's enough evidence to support that. I mean, they were flying around in a in what that vertebrate. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it zoomed. I mean, it. You're right. It was just something, some figure in in the power suit. But I think yeah. that that should be I mean, the Brotherhood it, of Steel giveaway. It, right it makes it, it makes the most sense <laughs> to me for it to be the Brotherhood of Steel because they do have a they do have a presence on the East Coast compared to out West. I saw quite a few comments on there. Now, again, people that are commenting are not, you know, they're not the uh, saviors. They don't know all the answers either, but they, a couple of the ideas uh, that people had was that, that uh, the Brotherhood of Steel is going to have a big part in it. Now, you had mentioned about uh, in the trailers the part where the blimp like comes by. Yeah, it's this big old airship, like it, that could only be one of two factions in my eyes. It could be the Enclave or Brotherhood of Steel thing. Right. Which I don't think it's the Enclave because they pretty much get screwed in Fallout 3. Mm-hmm. So, they do, definitely. So I I mean, I think that that's a Brotherhood of Steel airship. Mm-hmm. I mean, really I goes... wonder if it's going to be multiple factions again like it was in New Vegas. It would have to be. They, they, that that was just such a good... destiny, so to speak. That was such a good system, and that's it what was. it it screamed RPG. I mean, you could pick whoever you wanted to side with, which is cool. I mean, in the uh, in in, in my playthrough, uh, I I I'm honestly not sure who I'm going with. I mean, I'm not. I guess I'm not going with the uh, chairman because I already killed Benny and I already killed C- Kaiser. C- however, you want to pronounce now, Scott. I'm going to call him Caesar. I've played it every way, every faction. They're all really cool in their own way, and, and they all really suck in their own, in, in their way too. So right, I I, I, normally, I really like the system though. I agree that that I I would imagine they're gonna have that. I normally favor the NCR, but I was thinking about trying to keep Mister House in charge of Vegas. He seemed to be the best way to go when I did it all. I mean, only the only second I really... way to go is to be with uh, not yes man, uh, NCR. NCR was okay. That was like your neutral playthrough, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I, I want Mr. House to be in charge of New Vegas, but I don't want to piss off the NCR. The, Le- still the Legion. Like... I'm sorry, that's what it was, the Legion. Sorry, I was drew, drew a complete blank on that. Really? They're one of the better people? I, I, I like that ending a lot better. I never went They're a lot the Legion, stronger so... than most of them. The Brotherhood of Steel is another way to go. I mean, it's not really part of the uh, part of that system, but yeah, it, it does it's... affect the game in a big way if you join the Brotherhood of Steel and shit. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I joined them. I think I did something else with them. I beat, I was, I beat the uh, shit out of that game quest-wise. I can't oh, yeah. say I've done every single quest because there's so many. But I know I've, I done, I know I've done every possible main storyline with all the factions that you can. My, my first main playthrough on the uh, 360, I did every I did everything in that game quest-wise that you could do. Like, it took me so long. Like, what's what feels bad because the playthrough I'm doing on the channel is... Like, a, it's a serious playthrough, but, I mean, it's modded, which is cool, but I won't be able to do everything, which sucks. Right, and I do plan on doing a Let's Play of Fallout 4, it, since you're still wrapped be... up with New Vegas, and I think it's going to be great. Oh, yeah, well, I, I have I'm, high I'm gonna, for that one. I, I'm going to join you for that one to be the voice in your ear, because that's going to yeah, be... Yeah, I really like I, that idea. It's it's going it, we, we, to be fun, people, but right now, we're, we, we are... Not that far yet. We still got some time, so all we really have right now is this trailer to fanboy over. And uh, another another uh, big question, like we so we have the question of where it's going to take place answered, which is fucking awesome. The next thing, where does it fall in the timeline? Now, me, me and Selvix kind of have sort of uh, different uh, opinions on this. Uh, my opinion is it's going to take place sometime after Fallout Three. Now, when you watch the trailer compared to, you know, how Fallout normally looks, the Fallout normally has this, like, you know it's post-apocalyptic. Everything's, right, it's like, dark and darker. eerie. Darker. Yeah. It, it's, like, yeah. It's, like, and, constantly and, overcast. And, and when you look at uh, the trailer, the it, the world, the post-apocalyptic world looks a little more colorful, a little more, it, like, the, the world itself looks a little more alive. Like, it's, right. it, to me, it feels like, the the Earth has had time to like heal, I guess you would say, from the from the nu- nuclear fallout. So that's that's 
one of the reasons why I think it takes place after Fallout 3. Right. Uh, and then also, I, so you see things, sl- I, to me, more advanced. Oh, oh, before I get to that point, uh, I want to say that another thing supporting that is that at the end of Fallout 3, you know, you, you got a Project Purity and you had, in the GEC. You know, I'm thinking those things had some sort of profound effect on everywhere. And, like, the world... In, oh, absolutely. Like, the, like, I think that, yeah, the world in Fallout 4 is going to be a little more alive than the previous ones. Exactly, so, to, to yeah. me, that's, it supports that. And then you see... It's a good you know, theory. So, I like it so far. As I was saying, the uh, there's also like things look more advanced. Like you, like I said, those that big airship going through. Right. Like, total life. I don't remember. I mean, wouldn't it be cool about... if they finally introduced us to be able to use the vehicles in some way? That would be sweet. Oh, that'd be. Or great. some sort of like you know transportation method that doesn't involve fast traveling or walking. <laughs> that would be awesome. That'd be that'd be, that'd be cool. I, I I would love to take like, like a, a motorcycle solar powered or... moon looking lander vehicle thing. <laughs> that'd be cool shit. But like, yeah, so to me, that's another supporting thing. And then you also see, which something I've never seen before in Fallout, like people are, it's, you see buildings getting built, like you, like the, like things are starting to be rebuilt, maybe. Right, because, and not just people moving in the fucked up houses. Yeah, because you never see, like, I mean, sure, you see, sir, sometimes you see like a building, you know, like fixed up or something, but that's for like really important people and things and shit. Like you never just see normal, you just don't see how things being rebuilt it's just like kind of like people still scavenging you know so to me it feels like maybe they just didn't have the means to do oh, that before yeah. and now they're actually somehow have the means to actually rebuild themselves so i do like to, that to me, I, that's a pretty that's, good, that's a pretty good theory i do enjoy that that's right, not bad and, at all my theory personally though is that i believe it's before fallout one and not after, you know, I think it's a pre a prequel, I guess it would be. Meaning, uh, you know, right after the nuclear detonation, because you can tell there's a group of people at one point in the trailer, and they're standing there, it looks like, like they're over the vault entrance, and they're getting ready to go in. And then the atomic bomb detonates in the background, and all you see is, like, the shockwave come at them, and then it, you know, fades to another scene. So my guess is it's right after the nuclear meltdown, you know, the whole detonation, nuclear war, whatever. That's my theory. But if you uh, look back and look at the years, the game years, I should say, because you start with Fallout 1, and it's, it was uh, in year 2161 is where it started there. Uh, that's the one that Interplay did. And then you got Black Isle Studios that did Fallout 2, and that was year 2241. So you're gradually going up in year here. And then you have Fallout 3, which obviously was Bethesda. And the year of that one was 2277. And then, of course, you got New Vegas, also Bethesda, and... That was the year 2281, so progressively it's gone up. So they could throw all these, both of our theories here out the window if it ends up being after that, because if you watch the timeline, it's always going up. They haven't gone back yet. But hey, it was the first time for everything, so. Uh, I just don't see a reason for them to go back. Like, and it, yeah, in the, uh, if you notice in the trailer, as the dog's running through, you know, you're going back and forth between this house and it's between. You know, pre-war, right. yeah. And, well, pre-Fallout and post-Fallout. That's awesome and how you, they did that, by the way. I really yeah, like that. I thought for, it was for cool. a trailer that was really cool. But and then you see the family. To me, that guy, the guy in the little fat flashback thing, I think that's the vault, the or vault dweller, because we also can confirm that the uh, guy will be from Vault One One One, which. Right. I thought I thought I heard of that vault before, but apparently I didn't. And to me, it's now Kotaku had an article that about some leaked information that apparently seems to be on point because, from what I understand, they said they mentioned Vault One One One. They also, which this has been confirmed, but it seems quite fitting to me. Oh, I, I, I'm trying to scroll down here on my notes. <laughs> it won't work. Faster, but, uh, man, faster. Stop it! But they mention that the person awakes from a cryogenic sleep. Now, to me, this also can tie the Institute into this whole thing, because say, say the guy that was in the flashbacks, 
say he was cryogenically frozen by the Institute and woke up in Vault 111, you know, hundreds of years later. Because right. at this at this point, as the, I from what I understand, I don't think we know the location of all the vaults. Now, there is or, a or, uh, wiki page you can look up, and all the known vaults are there. But there's I, really not much information about this already. 111 hasn't been in any of the other ones. It was never mentioned before anywhere, so I did research that and confirm. I mean, it makes sense to me that they would be the same person because, as you as you notice in the uh, trailer, because the house is the same mm -hmm. that the dog walks through. So if it, he is the same person, that was his old house. And then you see the dog running around, and then you see the, the vault dweller outside pets him, you know, and they both walk off. So right. he could have been he could that could have been a, a small little scene where the main character or the player character, whatever you want to call him, is just moving it well not moving he's going revisiting his old home right because i mean it's clear it i i'm pretty pretty i'm assuming he's alone now because he had a baby and a wife and i'm guessing they're long dead so you know what i mean so like right. to, to me to me that kind of ties all the, a lot of that stuff together if the kotaku or, article the uh, leaked information is in fact true now i mean it's kind of on point but i i think it, i I don't think it's, you know, we can confirm anything about that until we actually, you know, get some more information yeah, or that's the play fun the thing game. About theories, like there's going to be so many of them. There's going to be more than this. Like this is just right. what we've come up with or we've found just today. I mean, imagine what it's going to be like by the weekend. You know, it's going to oh, be yeah. all over the place. There's going to be theories left and right. Some are going to make sense. Some are going to tie other ones together. You know, that's the oh, best yeah. part about a game reveal like that because you get all that speculation. And then if the the game designer is really good, which I do believe Bethesda has, <laughs> you know, the ability to do such a thing, but they completely throw you for a loop, and it's none of the theories at all. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's always hope. I mean, that. I know. I mean, it'd be cool if it was if I was right, but who knows? Who knows? We have a uh, a returning narrator, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. Ron Perlman's coming back. That's pretty good. I like him. Yeah. I whoa. Will never change. I like. I can't even do it. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> voice for it. It really is. It it really ties everything in. Now, the only person I will ever accept as a replacement is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> still, only person. Still like that mod. Change change uh, Rex's voice. Oh no! Oh, from from Game Society pimps. Mm -hmm. Oh no! That's one of their the guys doing. That. That's a voiceover. No, that's all it is. Oh, okay. That's all yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's it's one of those guys. If that was a mod, that would be great. That is pretty funny, though. I I, I would love walking up to Rex. He's like, I can smell your taint. I wonder if it, I bet it's that guy. Uh, I don't know if you remember. There was this game where you run around like you had to hide from people, and then you run up and stab them. Or if they find you, they could kill you. But there was a guy that used to do uh, a bunch of, I guess they were Let's Plays, more or less, of that. And he would narrate it as Morgan Freeman, and it sounds just like that voice. Well, so it could be that guy. Cause there's a lot, a lot of people who sound like shit. Morgan Freeman. So I'm saying it would be cool. It would make sense that that dude was a, uh, you know, he was into the gaming and such. So. Right. And we got a uh, three dog returning. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, on Twitter, the voice actor uh, tweeted something about him possibly returning. That's cool. And then. Also on in in the uh, trailer, you, uh, I'm pretty sure it, it's. I mean, you could kind of say that it's not relevant, but you do see a, a Galaxy News Radio billboard in, on one of the buildings now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that that could be could be totally irrelevant because you know it's a radio station. Of course, it's going to be promoted at places, but I don't know. I I'd like to see Three Doll come back. I loved his character. I thought it was great. Yeah, I liked it too. It was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, and uh, I don't know. Like the it just the trailer to me seemed very. It, it was it gave it gave enough to satisfy me, I guess. <laughs> because like we've been waiting for so long. Oh yes, ever since that fake trailer. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah. San Francisco, I, uh, road sign. Yeah, I. I I, 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 for some reason, I, I honestly thought it was real for the longest time, but apparently it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. But, the weird thing is, I don't think Bethesda ever confirmed or denied it, but... 
They might. They, I, you know, I bet they did. I just totally missed it because I'm an idiot. Well, listen, I was trying to find information about that, and that's all I found. I found that trailer again. It's still out there. Hmm. Well, when you when you actually look look into it, like, I mean, it looks just like assets from Fallout Three in New Vegas. Mm-hmm. And the and the San Francisco signs are pretty easy to make. Right. So, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, whoever did it. That big troll. I, I tip my hat to you. <laughs> now, honestly, I mean, that's all the real, really all the speculation I could make. Like, anything else, like, I can, right. my, like, my favorite parts from the trailer, I loved at the end when you saw that uh, half-built power armor. Like, right. that suit, wasn't yeah. fully, fully put together. And I finally mm -hmm. found out what those rings on the shoulders were for. Yeah, it's the hanging up. I saw that too. I said that earlier. I, 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 was like, I never oh, dude, knew. I always knew they were there, but what the hell were they for? Yeah, I never knew what they were for. I thought it was just, just for see like it hanging up after a while. I just gave up on the theory, on the thoughts, <laughs> and everything. Yeah, yeah, but you fucking hang hang them up on that. That's cool as hell. <laughs> I learned something. Well, it's definitely awesome that they released a trailer finally today. And uh, if you check the E3 reveal, uh, you can actually watch it live, absolutely free, on YouTube and Twitter on June fourteenth at seven p.m. Eastern. Uh, we may do a special episode of this on that. We're still brainstorming that one. But if we do, we, you will, of course, be the first to know. I, I would like to cover some uh, E3 pot, but preferably live if we could. But Yeah, that would be right. Yeah. Live might not happen, but we can definitely do an episode at least on it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But uh, that's pretty much all, what we could gather from uh, the uh, Fallout 4 reveal trailer today. And hopefully it you guys enjoyed it was educated in some way but if you enjoyed go ahead leave it a like uh give us some topics you want us to talk about and maybe we'll uh talk about them because you know we're nice like that I'd at least i'd I also am. like to hear, hear some uh some other theories if anybody's got any i would love to hear them in the comments that would be yeah terrific. that'd be that'd be fabulous I would love to keep this going for a while and see what anybody thinks oh Either way, I am super excited for Fallout 4. I'm going to play the living shit out of it. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about that let's play. I mean, as long as long as they bring they they bring back Willow, her <laughs> mod, her, I'll be happy because I don't want her to the game at this point. Yeah, I know. Like, I, like, just I don't include it in the fucking game because Willow like, is an awesome companion. I did get a chance to mess with that. I, really I don't. Fun. I, I don't want another companion ever again. Like. It's hard enough playing other games. Right, that you could do so much in. shit with her. It was awesome, and she even had her own whole, like entire quest line. Uh huh. Beautiful, beautiful mod. Whoever did that, I cannot recall the author at the time, but kudos to you, my friend. And if you guys want, check out uh, my uh, let's play of Fallout New Vegas. It's modded. It's the shit. Uh, I just started doing uh, New Vegas Bounty, so that's a really good time. Uh, I'm doing Moon and Star and Skyrim, and I'm having a blast modding the shit out of that. And, uh, well, Silvik's, Silvik's gonna be playing Fallout 4 when it comes out, and he's gonna be helping, doing some, uh, My Two Quarters with, what's, oh, God, yes. with, with me. And, uh, we'll, we'll make him do, do other things, too. We'll, we'll force him to. We'll just, down with a spray bottle. Just hold some liquor in front of my face. I'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just get you drunk and record you playing, uh, Le League of Legends. That's a great idea. Dr drunk in League of Legends? Stay tuned for a new playlist. <laughs> stay, stay tuned for Drunken League of Legends. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it. I'm Frag King. He's Silvix. Hell yeah, I am. All, the, all day you, long. And don't you question it. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, guys. Night, As folks. always, enjoy your game. Peace. Uh -huh.